Hey everyone, it's been a while since we made a YouTube video. Life's been crazy with the toddler and house renovations, but it's a new year and we are focusing on organization. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat as well. So today I wanted to give you a little video tour of our kitchen, show you how we organize our cabinets and some of our favorite features. We built our house a few years ago and we worked with Lowe's on the design. These are craft made cabinets in the color mushroom. We included a lot of cabinet organization features from Craftmade, but we also left some drawers empty and we added in our own storage solutions later. So let's start with my favorite cabinet. This is actually the top of a vintage hutch I found on Facebook Marketplace. I think it was like 50 bucks and we removed the top and sanded it down to the natural wood. Inside this cabinet, we have our microwave, our toaster, all of our cups and glassware. We've got the party shelf on the top. And then in this drawer, we have our mugs and coffee supplies. Below the hutch, we have our junk drawers and I found these bamboo organizers. They have removable dividers, so we can make them work with all kinds of smaller objects. And we've had these for a year now and they've managed to stay organized, so I think it's a pretty good system. And I'll link everything below in the video notes. On this end cabinet, we have our household slash DIY drawers. It has two pull-out drawers, which I absolutely love because it makes it super easy to access everything. The next cabinet over has the same pull-out drawers. On the bottom, we have our smaller appliances like our Instant Pot, kettle, Nutribullet, and then a few smaller kitchen tools like our mandolin, coffee grinder, and hand blender. Next over we have a set of drawers. On the top drawer we have our flatware, and it also has this really cool feature. Check out this hidden drawer underneath with our fancy flatware. The next drawer down holds our dish towels, then we have our toddler's cups, bibs, and plates. And this bottom drawer has become Esme's activity drawer. She hangs out with us in the kitchen a lot, so it's nice that she can have her own space to keep her toys and also put them back when she's done. In the next cabinet over, we have our knife block drawer, which I really love, and it's also a great way to free up counter space. And then another cool feature is this hidden cutting board that pulls right out. And below that, we have our pull-out trash and recycle bin. For me, this is a non-negotiable in a kitchen. I think it's super convenient and the best way to hide your trash. Next, we have our sink cabinet, and I found these slide-out wire shelves on Amazon. They're designed to fit around your sink plumbing, and they really help you utilize the space. I love how they have a smaller shelf on top for things like sponges and dish brushes. These have been a great solution for us, and you can use them under bathroom sinks, too. Next up, we have our dishwasher. I really love using panel-ready dishwashers whenever possible. It just looks much more seamless. The top drawer in the corner has all of our Tupperware lids. And this corner cabinet's kind of cool. It has this front section that pulls out. We keep our Tupperware on the top and picnic supplies on the bottom. And then this rotates off to the side and we have two more pull-out shelves you can access in the back. So this bottom shelf is where we keep our bowls and plates and it's worked out really well for us having everything out in the open and easy to access. I'm a big fan of using drawers in a kitchen. I just think they're much more efficient and functional. So we used two large drawers on either side of the stove. In the top left drawer, we have our pots and then there's a hidden drawer at the top for oven mitts. And then below that, we have all the lids for our pots and pans organized with removable dividers. On the right side of the stove, we have our pans in the top drawer and another pull-out shelf that holds all of our kitchen gadgets. And below that, we have our mixing bowls, colanders, and cookie cutters. Now we've come to my favorite drawer, the spice drawer. I organized this with glass spice jars and labels I found on Amazon in a tiered wood shelf cut down to fit our drawer size. In the small drawer next to it, we have our plastic bags and wrap, 
For this corner cabinet, we have two of these pull-out trays that fully extend out. These are great for larger or heavier item storage like our Dutch oven, stock pot, and casserole dishes. And in the last small cabinet, we have our pans and cutting boards. There's a divider to separate them and they're easy to take in and out. So that's it for the base cabinets. I opted not to have upper cabinets to help make our kitchen feel larger and more open because it's not a very big kitchen. But I did find this secondhand barrister bookcase online and I refinished it to use as our pantry storage. The doors lift up and slide in and Inside, I've organized our dry and canned food with things like stackable containers, a tiered shelf, and a turntable. There's not a ton of storage space, but we're about to start renovating our laundry room, which is on the other side of this wall, and we're gonna be adding a pantry there, so that should help a lot. Our fridge is panel ready, which we love because it blends in with our cabinets. However, we don't love this fridge. It moves around a lot. The ice maker doesn't work, but don't worry, it's been discontinued. And then on the other side of the fridge, this might actually be my favorite part of the kitchen because it leads to the wine. We had the ladder custom made by a local fabricator. It was a splurge, but I think it adds a lot to the kitchen. It's an unexpected and fun addition. I think that covers everything. I'll link to all of the sources and details about our kitchen below for anyone curious. I hope this video was helpful if you're designing your own kitchen or just looking for organization ideas. Thank you guys for watching and I promise we'll be back with another video, hopefully within the next few months. Cheers!